In this video, I have another secret trick and a sort of overlooked detail that can sometimes really change the quality of your embouchure. If you haven't seen last week's video where I talk about the angle of the clarinet in your mouth, you should go check that out because this is going to be a follow-up with another variable sort of of the embouchure, sort of of the clarinet placement that can make almost equally as big of an impact on the quality of your sound. This is another aspect of actually playing and how you hold the instrument a little bit that can make it so even if you have a picture-perfect embouchure on its own, this can actually completely change your sound. And what this is, is how much mouthpiece is in your mouth. I think I may have talked about this a little bit in a previous video and definitely in a live weekly warm-up, one of the videos where I go live every Monday and share a warm-up. So if you're not subscribed to the channel and you haven't seen a live weekly warm-up before, you should because they're a lot of fun and are a great way to give you a little bit of inspiration and a little bit of something maybe new to practice for the week. But this one is really special and really important and I think it's important to make a full video on it. So what it is, is how much mouthpiece. And again, let me just start with a demonstration to show you how big of an impact this can make on your sound. And this is kind of hard to see, so I'll just tell you right away. I'm gonna start with very little mouthpiece in my mouth and then gradually add more and more. And if you go too far, you get a nice squeak like that. And you also hopefully noticed when there was too little, it was a very sort of thin, not full resonant sound, which was also not very pleasant. So let's talk a little bit about why this happens and why it's so important to get it right. So for every mouthpiece, the mouthpiece has a curve to it, the reed lays flat on it, and then it vibrates. When your mouthpiece is very little in your mouth, if this is your embouchure and you have just the tip of the mouthpiece in your mouth, then it means that your lip is right towards the tip of the reed. And if you look at how that uh, curve lies, if you're really close to the tip here, it's gonna mean that you have a lot of leverage and it's really easy to close up the reed from vibrating, pinch off those vibrations, because you, with very little pressure from your jaw, you can just close the reed off really easily. Now, as you go down further, you start to get a little bit more reed vibrating, which is what we want because the best sound comes from the best reed vibrations. But if you start going too far, then you no longer have any control over the vibrations and that's when the reed just goes crazy and you get that big squeak. So the perfect way to sort of test for this and figure out where the best spot for the sound that you want is, is to actually do the exercise that I just demonstrated. So start with very, very little mouthpiece in your mouth, gradually add more and more and more and more, and I really do challenge you to go all the way until it squeaks. Also make sure that you aren't doing weird things with your embouchure as you add more and more mouthpiece. Just keep your embouchure set, and then just maybe open it a little bit as you put more and more mouthpiece in your mouth, but try to keep your, your teeth in the same alignment, keep the um, mouthpiece and clarinet at the same angle in your mouth and just truly just put more straight into your mouth. This time I'll do it on an open G because I think that note is also really responsive and, and works well to demonstrate this exercise. And the really interesting thing that hopefully you noticed is actually just about the best sound was right before the squeak. It was very thin and then got fuller and fuller and fuller and fuller and then eventually squeaked. But I think this is an important lesson and I think the majority of players actually put much too little mouthpiece in their mouth. Sure, there are probably maybe 10% of especially beginners who put a ton in at first, but almost everybody gets squeaks right away and realizes that that's a bad idea, and almost everybody overcorrects and backs off to very little mouthpiece. It's also super duper normal for beginners to only put a little bit in because it's just uncomfortable to be sticking the clarinet in your mouth. So we tend to just do as little as possible to sort of make it work. 
but you might be surprised to try this test out for yourself and see how putting in a bit more mouthpiece can get a lot more reed vibrating, a lot more flexibility to the sound, a lot more fullness to the sound, and can just make your sound better in general. And that's all I got for this fun little embouchure tip or trick. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe to the channel because I'll be doing more videos every single week, tune into a live weekly warm up on Mondays. And if you want even more clarinet content from myself, be sure to head over to your quickstartclarinet.com where you can see all of the fun stuff that I have and all of my clarinet content and resources that I've made to help you become a better clarinetist and enjoy playing the clarinet a bit more. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in another video.